Well, the coastal storm forced a cancellation of a public event that was supposed to shine a light on a problem that affects many families. 10 on your side, Regina Mobley has more on help for the mentally ill and the people who love them, Regina. Well, the idea from the National Alliance on Mental Illness was to march in the parade, the Neptune Festival Parade, and then set up on the boardwalk. This was going to be a wonderful event, but this will have to wait for another year. But for NAMI, there is no time to wait when people are crying out for help. Last week in Tulsa, Oklahoma, a top prosecutor was stabbed. His daughter is the suspect. 2013 in Bath County, Virginia, State Senator Cree Deeds was stabbed by his son, who later committed suicide. A few years earlier, a local father was attacked. His son um, tried, inflicted so much harm, put him in the hospital for numerous days, and um, basically tried to kill him. NAMI Coastal Virginia is writing the next chapter on mental illness. We educate and we support. And so we do that. We do that for those who live with mental illness, but then also their family members. Susanna Yurovsky is the president of the local NAMI board, but her other title is Alexa's proud mother. Alexa loves dance, art, and writing. She is also a mental illness survivor and advocate. A crisis earlier this year required police intervention. We probably came in contact with 10 to 12 police officers over a 36 hour period. And they were all um, well versed in the de-escalation with their language. But that's not always the case. That's why NAMI is educating the public about the many faces of mental illness. You are not alone. Um, there are so many families that are going through what you are going through or have experienced it, and there is support for you. Yaroski says the new three-digit code 988 will help a lot. The Oklahoma prosecutor is recovering, and he's calling on states to provide more funding for mental health. Regina Mobley, 10 on your side.